I want to explain to you. God will never change your past. I'm coming. Take the example of the card what I gave you. What God will never change your past. God will bring you a fresh start for you. Amen. Hallelujah. You messed up your life. You did every kind of hindrance and every kind of, uh, you know, uh, 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 mess up with God. And God doesn't go into your mess up and change. God will use that situation of your messing up life and you'll bring uh, a new start. It's called the message. Amen. Hallelujah. You're not, you're a messed up man in the past. But my God doesn't make you a messed up man. But he'll bring you into the new future. He calls you. It's not a mess. It's a message. Oh God. Come on, church. Blessed to hear this word. God will never change anybody. God will make a new start with everybody. Hallelujah. If it's a messed up life, he takes a messed up life and he uses it in such a way and he mold it in such a way, he changes it in such a way. When you stand in the present, you're not like a messed up man. You are a message man. Hallelujah. Because you'll be you have a past but because my God didn't live in this universe he doesn't have past because God doesn't, God doesn't have the past he doesn't want to come to you with the past when God brings you into the future into the present he, won't, he doesn't call you as a messed up man he's called you a man with a message oh God in the past you were tested but in the present you are a testimony in the past you're a messed up in the present you're a message in the past you have ever become a victim for all kinds of things but in the present God makes you a victorious person hallelujah oh review to God that is what the salvation is God doesn't change people even I was under the same logic oh all the bad habits will go why bad habits will go? Because there is no bad habit when they come into the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. A brand new start. A brand new start. Hallelujah. And let me clarify one more concept the Lord has put in my heart. As I said, God does not change you from bad to good but God will bring you from death to life hallelujah it making a lot of sense all right making a lot he he does not change you from bad to good he change he because you are in the in the path you are a dead man you are a sinful man you are a cursed man everything is on you what he's saying because you are dead he died for you through the blood he'll make you alive in Christ hallelujah it's not from bad to good it is from death to life hallelujah unless you come from death to life you cannot live in the present and in the future you always lives in the past I'll read you one verse for you Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 Amen. As for you, you are dead in your trans transgressions and sins. You are dead. And what, what, what the verse, second verse, in which Ephesians 2, chapter 1, verse 2, in which you are used to live when you follow the ways of this world. When you are following the ways of the world, you are not bad, you are a dead man. Hallelujah. We thought we are bad, we are worse, we are this, we are that. But in God's sight, it's all nothing to do with me. For me, you are a dead man. How beautiful is this? Now, see the beauty. Verse 4. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we are dead in our transgressions. Hallelujah. Making it sense? So God is not changing you from bad to good. God is giving when you are dead, God is making you alive in Christ. Hallelujah. That's what you are a new creation. A baby born, in, when, a, when a baby is born, go and tell the baby, hey baby, what's your past? Can any sensible man ask a, a baby just born? Hey baby, what's your past? Come on church. No. Because it's a just born fresh 
just born baby that's what the bible tells me when you are in christ you are a new creation you are freshly born to live in the present and in the future no more in the past hallelujah glory be to god jesus and let me read you another interesting thing luke chapter 15 verse 24 we are talking about the prodigal son you know what the bible tells me it's a beautiful i it's very interesting for me to note that word the, the father is saying for this son of mine was dead and is alive again is it dead he's not dead he's gone astray he's gone bad he's gone after the riches of the world he's gone after the passions of the world he's gone after the curse of the world but when he come in back the father is referring hey he's not come back from bad to good oh hallelujah he's coming back from death to life hallelujah oh jesus what is speaking fire this morning a prodigal son is not coming from the bad to good prodigal son is not coming from bad habits to good habit prodigal son is coming from the death to true life and that's what the father declares for this son of mine was dead and is alive again he was lost and is found you're lost god finds you that is salvation you are dead God brings you life. That is salvation. You have all the past in the past. God erases and starts and gives a new beginning. That is salvation. Hallelujah. That's a reason you have to live in the present and you have to live in the future because God always reigns in the present and the future. He doesn't care what your past is, how worst, how bad, how dirty, how whatever you call it. He not worried about past because he doesn't live in the past. 